dear standers, how are you all doing today? I hope that everyone is having a joyful day. Thank you very much for sharing with me your time. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for liking my videos. For those who have not yet subscribed, I encourage you, click on the subscribe button so we can always be together every time I come on so that we can encourage each other and be in God's presence together. So today, the Holy Spirit was very clear with me on what to share. And I hope that this encourages you all that restoration is possible. I believe that this message was really sent to me very clearly today for me to impart it with all of you. It does not matter how your situation looks like. Your spouse may be with the other person or maybe even married to the other person now. It does not matter. No one and nothing can stop God's plan for you, your marriage, and for your spouse. Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 16 tells us, I will seek that which was lost and bring again that which was driven away and will bind up that which was broken and will strengthen that which was sick. But I will destroy the fat and the strong. I will feed them with judgment. So I am telling you, my dear standers, do not worry. God is telling you today. I am here today telling you through God's message to me, that restoration is possible. It is and it will happen. You know, I woke up today very, very discouraged. I had a very disturbing dream. I rarely dream. And lately, when I do it, it would be mostly about my husband coming home. I believe this is because every night before going to bed, I pray and ask the Holy Spirit to guard my thoughts and to guard my dreams. I ask the Holy Spirit not to allow the enemy into my dreams, but to instead give me rest and peace in my sleep and to only let God's promises visit me while I am sleeping. So I do this every night before going to bed. And I truly believe that this is why I do not dream often. And if I do, it is all from God. But last night was different. You see, I believe it's because yesterday my teenage son and I got into a bit of a, a very, very minor argument. It was more of a talk that got a bit heated. So I know how much the kids miss their father. And, you know, even if they do not say it, I know it. I am their mother. I am with them every day. I see the loneliness and the longing in their eyes. And I encourage them. I encourage them by telling them that in God's perfect time, their father will be home. They know that and we pray together every day. So anyway, the argument or the talk brought out months of pain from both of us. And though we resolved it right away, we were able to talk things out. Things were said that I wished were not. Nothing hurtful to my son or to myself. But you always have to remember that the enemy does not have any power to read your mind. Only God can do that. The enemy prowls and waits for us to bring our fears to existence when we say it out there, then that is what he will use to torment us. The enemy will take advantage of our weaknesses, the things that come out of our mouth. And the only way for him to know that is if you say it out there. So my mistake was that I mentioned to my son about my brother-in-law lying in court. And so, guess who was in my dream with my husband? Yes, I am not surprised. It was my brother-in-law, the exact same one who I spoke of to my son. 
it was a discouraging dream where, you know, I saw him so much against me and helping my husband pack up his stuff from our home. I woke up sad. I woke up with my spirit so down. But I did not allow that to fester. I immediately, the minute I opened my eyes, I grabbed my phone and turned on my worship music. And I prayed. I covered myself with prayers. And God, God, us always came through. He covered me with His presence, His love, His joy, and His peace that surpasses all understanding. I felt him just embrace me in his arms. And in that very moment, the enemy was just defeated. He fled. He was shaking in his boots, running away from me. It did not stop there. God, through the Holy Spirit, revealed to me that my dream was not from him, but a trick that enemy tried to use to put me down. Tricks that he keeps on using on me and on you to make us give up. By saying things earlier in the day, I gave the enemy the ammunition to use against me. I imparted with the enemy my fears. I imparted with the enemy my thoughts that only God knew and was supposed to know. But by praying and by knowing God's word and having that word as my double-edged sword, my weapon, I stood up and I fought against the enemy. I fought against my thoughts. I rebuked the enemy. I scoffed at him because I refused him to take over my thoughts. I refused for him to even have a minute in my head rent free. No way. All my thoughts, all my heart, and all my spirit, my whole body, I give to God and to God alone. So there is no place for the enemy to live anywhere in me rent free. No way. Only God and all God. And so then when I was feeling so much better and revived again in God's spirit and presence, I went online to hear Mass. And there God just like showed me and spoke to me directly. God said to me today through the priest that was giving the Mass, Restoration is possible. Believe. In Isaiah chapter 55 verse 1, it says, Come to the waters, and you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Because it does not cost you anything to go back to our Father. No. Because you have to know that whatever you have, everything that you are enjoying, everything that you have is not from your own capabilities, but from God. So go back to Him. Thank Him. God is telling us that all we need to do is to focus on Him. Do not look at your situation. Do not look at your spouse and what they are doing. Keep your focus on God and His promises. Our God is a God of restoration. Believe that nothing and no one can stop God's plan. Jeremiah 32 verse 27, our Lord said, Behold, I am the Lord. The God of all flesh is anything too hard for me? Nothing, nothing is impossible with God. Know that God is in control of everything, of all His creatures. 
He loves you and He will restore you. He will restore your spouse because He loves your spouse too. He will restore your marriage because marriage is His design. You are a work in progress. Your marriage is a work in progress. But nothing, nothing is impossible with our God. So I encourage you all, continue to be grateful. Continue to focus on God. Give thanks to our Lord always and in everything. Hold in your heart the truth that His delay is not His denial. He will restore because He loves you, His creation. God always and will always work for the good of all. And He makes all things beautiful. And the restoration of your marriage is beautiful in His eyes. So yes, restoration is definitely possible with God. Again, with God, nothing is impossible. So I hope that today I have encouraged you and I hope that this has given you an encouragement to just keep your focus on God and believe in His promises. Because believe me, my dear fellow standers, our God is a good God and He loves us very much. And so I continue to pray for all of you and I hope to be with you again soon. God bless you all. Bye-bye.